Welcome to Off the Press, the newspaper review program where we take a look at our national dailies and try to make sense of it and dissect it as much as we can and as much as time will allow. And with me to do so this morning is our own in-house analyst, Annie Uvi Ayeni. Good you to have you. <laughs> How you are you today? Me. Good, thank you. Annie. And the lockdown continues, but we are here and yes. we are happy. Okay, so we have a couple of papers, but we shall begin with the Punch newspaper and then to the Nation, the Guardian and daily trust, um, but the punch will be displayed. The federal government and National Assembly to pay for two months free electricity. That's according to the discourse. That's the reason, page 23. And government not transparent about relief materials. That's according to Khan. Uh, the Christian Association of Nigeria. That's the reason, page 19 of the Punch newspaper. You can see it already displayed there. And then health, education, Niger Delta suffer uh, th th 321 billion naira budget cut. That's, that's the story again, it's on page 22. And then 170 countries to experience negative income growth uh, according to IMF, and I'm sure that is attributed to the pandemic of coronavirus. And the big story for Punch newspaper, Buhari task force meet today over a nationwide lockdown. So until uh, now, we've, we've had you know, news filtering and people saying there's been extension, but we've not had anything from uh, the president. But anyway, uh, Buhari would meet today and then we'll know our fate uh, sometime today. We've collected data for possible lockdown in all states, according to PTF. Lagos begins house to house search for COVID 19 suspects. And Nigeria's cases rises to 290, and US death toll crosses 16,000 mark. Unfortunately, we are not seeing uh, the number for recoveries. We should see the number. For recoveries because people are also recovering. If they scroll up, you will see a picture story also, I believe is um, the security personnel trying to enforce the lockdown. But there's a snarl up of hold up there. You're wondering where people are headed. Anyways, we'll come to that. And Rivers uh, local government seals Caverton helicopters office in Portacourt. That's the reason. Page 12, find out why that is. And Quara imposes total lockdown to stop COVID-19 spread. On page 2, Lagos plans reordering of 2020 budget. On page 6, Buhari grants a post-humous pardon to... Ambrose Ali and Ahoro and others in page 12. Uh, 202 Lagos lockdown violators arraigned and 189 con convicted. That story is on pages 4 and 5 of the Punch newspaper. And finally, 15,000 Oshun residents to get federal government's 20,000 Naira each, according to Oyetola. And that story is on page 17. Where do you want us to begin this morning? Um, the president talking about the lockdown again. Mm -hmm. uh, the language matters. And when the, I think one of the things that people resist is the idea of being locked down. Mm -hmm. When you are told that you're you're locked down, mm -hmm. it's, it's the restriction. Okay. So that sends immediate, sends the mindset of you are being restricted. And people don't like being restricted. Right. Historically, of many, many years ago, the moment you tell someone not to do something, that mm -hmm. is exactly what well, they do. Okay. And when we grow up as children, the same thing our parents say, but I told you not to do it. Mm -hmm. So I think by now, the newspapers can help us with the type of narrative that they actually send out to people. But if it's not a lockdown, what is it? It stay at home. Okay, so you're suggesting the, 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 the rewarding is important. I yes, understand. yes. Okay. The wording is important. It's a stay at home. Mm -hmm. Stay at home, it, it's not for bad reasons. It's for good reasons. Mm -hmm. It's for obviously for very good reasons. Mm -hmm. If they, we didn't have the stay at home, we could have more numbers on, on the disease than what we have right now. And there's still quite a bit of here and there. There's still quite a lot of new information that is coming out. Mm -hmm. And while all that new information is coming out, it's easier for us when we are in the quietness and in the safe environment of our own home mm -hmm. than when you're hearing that outside. Now, we, we have been told up till today, we don't want to hear it at all, that the disease is not airborne. Mm -hmm. So that is good. So if anything happens now and they now say, okay, it's airborne, people will be more afraid. Mm -hmm. You will have more people running to our hospitals and look at our system already. Look at how much we have to cope with. Not to talk of when we have a lot more cases coming out. Mm -hmm. and saying that. So the language matters. You're very concerned about the lockdown. Yeah, 
the, but don't you suggest the lockdown also, you know, may also be referring to businesses that are shut down, people don't have to go to work. I, I hear what you mean, but I'm just saying, maybe uh, typically for Nigerians, you know, without uh, trying to offend anyone, maybe the harder it sounds, <laughs> the more serious will take people this will thing. Take it. I'm just saying. No, but it's not just Nigeria. It's all over the world. It's mm -hmm. everywhere. You can see the police. You can see the authorities. It's all around the world. Mm -hmm. It's the mind. It's a mindset of a thing. People are moving always like a fast moving train. Right. And all of a sudden you tell them, no, you are not moving. Everybody stays, stay in one place. Mm. And all that is bound to cause some resistance. So the language that we use, okay, stay, know, home. stay home, stay home, stay home. <laughs> stay home. Okay, <laughs> we'll try and adopt, so uh, adopt that. It okay, so let's move away from uh, staying home and lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> what else um, uh, do we see? I, I mean, I find this uh, story interesting. Uh, federal government, the National Assembly, to pay two months uh, free electricity. And that's this goes saying. So it looks like there's um, there's a conversation going on, but how do you respond to that? The discos themselves, because, you know, there's a private investment in mm -hmm. the discos. And the private investment will have a catalog of monies that have been taken from one source or the other. Now, given that the government has said, okay, now there is a halt on loans, mm -hmm. we've not heard anything from the bank saying that all those who have loans that are due for the month of May and April, your loans, your loan amounts will not be taken, mm -hmm. so you can use that money to take care of your family. We haven't heard anything like that as individuals, not to talk of businesses. So at the back of the mind of some of this personal investment that people have mm -hmm. is the fact that we sit here now, there is power. This power that we are experiencing now is being paid for in one way or the other. That's correct. People are working and their salaries need to be paid. There is an income that is being generated from this power on a monthly basis That's that right. they use to offset other things. Now, when you tell them that that power is going to be free mm -hmm. for two months, where is the income coming from for them to support what they have been supporting. Mm -hmm. After the two months, I'm not saying it's not a good idea, it's a wonderful idea, but a wonderful idea that we need to be sure is in the right way. Right. Because now, after the two months, are the discos now going to say that, no, we cannot generate power for the next three, mm -hmm. because, because we, we had free like, two months already. Two months already. Mm -hmm. So we need to boost this, we need to boost that. Are we then going to experience a very high increase mm -hmm. in power? Can the government should give us more information on how exactly mm -hmm. this is going to be done? Mm -hmm. Because even without that already, we already have the challenges of what people pay for. So if they give us more information and say, okay, this is free, people are not going to pay their loan for two months, businesses will not pay their loan for two months, mm -hmm. it's around the world and this is a general thing, it makes people breathe easier. Right. Okay, I agree. <laughs> 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 All right, um, let's look about, uh, talk about uh, you know, the Christian Association of Nigeria saying that the government is not uh, being transparent about relief materials. In the past days, we've heard, I mean, if you go, the social media, of course, is a gog with all kinds of information. One really needs to be careful and deliberate in what you choose to get from social, from that space uh, during this time. However, we've also seen reports of, you know, people genuinely saying, we've not been able to get anything. These relief materials, where is it going to? You know, what are your thoughts in, uh, on how all of this is going. Where is it going to? Who are those? Who are the beneficiaries? Somebody said to us in one of the reports, I've not even seen somebody who said he or she has received, you, you know, but we also know that there are some people who have shown evidence of receiving. How do we balance? How do we know what is going on? Yeah. There is a there is there is a proverb. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very old proverb, so it's not said <laughs> that I was the one that initiated right. it. <laughs> the poor will always be with you. Mm -hmm. There is that. People, there will always be people that we always say, we haven't received this, we haven't received that. Now, the position of Khan, I'm not speaking as a member of Khan or a senior associate, but I think the position of Khan is a position of, you know, the, the church is like a hospital. Mm -hmm. You can't tell who will come in or who will not. And that is the information they keep getting. Oh, pastor, oh, reverend, oh, bishop, oh, mm -hmm. archbishop, we are hungry, we are hungry, we are hungry. And then they'll have to go back again. Okay, but government said they're giving this, but sir, we are mm -hmm. not getting it. Mm -hmm. And so I think the balance for government now would be to be proactively more deliberate mm -hmm. 
about how this is actually being distributed. If I see a federal government car in Aja, for example, on Saturday morning, afternoon and evening, giving people food, then when people complain they are not eating, then I know at least government is doing something. Mm -hmm. If I see them in Ajegunle, if I see them at Ogogoro, I know that exactly government is doing something. I think they need to be more deliberate on how they do this. If the mm -hmm. government is going to open up a kitchen, a soup kitchen, mm -hmm. where food is cooked and people can go for breakfast, lunch and dinner, open soup kitchens in different environments, in the six um, zones the around Lagos, zones. Mm -hmm. and let people go there to go and get breakfast, lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope so. I share your hope. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, I can only yeah, share it's your a hope. hope. Uh, it's a hope. <laughs> now, again, uh, 202 Lagos, where well, you said we shouldn't use lockdown. I don't know. Stay home, <laughs> violators. Uh, well, <laughs> but the language here is 202 Lagos lockdown violators. Uh, arrange 189 of them convicted. Why is it difficult for, you know, it looks like there's a challenge to adhere to this order of stay at home. at home if you don't move the virus cannot move what are we not hearing what's you know what's going on what are people not hearing yes what that? are people not hearing well one of the things they are not hearing one of the things that is at the back of people's minds i guess will be i don't have the virus so i don't have anybody to give it to mm. but that may be one and then secondly what are their reasons for going out? Nobody has said the reasons why people are out. They just keep saying people are coming out. Okay, those mm. ones are out. They were exercising on the bridge. That is not the place to go for exercise or look for um, do the exercise closer to your home. Mm -hmm. That is fine. But other people, why are they going out? Very early hours of this morning, I saw a woman out with two of her children. Where are they going to? They are trying to reach the village. The because people. that they are trying to get to their village mm. in the in a community where they have more family mm. because then they can have more support and they can take care of hunger and everything there they will have more support really and truly wandering people you will see like we said before on one of these shows that there are different levels of people in mm. lagos state for example let's yeah. use lagos where we live mm -hmm. some people since this started they have locked themselves away and they're not coming out another set of people decided to lock themselves away later mm -hmm. when the government then brought the idea of stay at home another set of people decided mm. to stay at home another set of people are outside what are they outside for mm. i just want uh, i just want the press the government not to miss the moment find out the reasons why people are out mm -hmm. that's the only reason why we can make sense of this it's not continuous oh you're arresting you're arresting you're arresting why are they outside the what issues. is it what the are issues. the issues the issues are complex that we can deal mm -hmm. with that government can deal with okay in the interest of time we'll move on to the nation newspaper and it will be displayed uh uh, shortly. Uh, SIP got 619 billion, says presidency, opposition by Lawan. Uh, we know there's been a bit of conversation between the National Assembly and SIP, and that story is on page 8, already displayed there. A legal state government to reorder 2020 budget yeah, in the face of COVID-19, of course. And President pardons Anahoro and Bruce Ali. Uh, 206 other inmates expected to be freed. Uh, they're not, not the 2006 freed already. There are 70, 70 thereabouts were freed yesterday. The others, who, who, I believe in the coming days, will who, who know the strategy on how that will be done. Uh, a thousand Nigerians applied to return from US and others. That story is on the front page. Uh, displayed there, as you can see, uh, federal government gives condition, and U.S. Uh, lifts uh, 997 nationals. Lagos discharges three foreigners and four others. And again, to the right, you see the breakdown of um, COVID-19. Um, we can see the global number, the death toll, and thankfully, uh, we can see that this paper also has recovery. If you scroll up a bit, uh, you, uh, the, uh, the viewers will be able to see what I'm talking about. And then Chinese medics on the watch says, Bajabi uh, Amila, I believe they have started their 14-day quarantine already. They won't do anything until those days are over. Rivers, Bayosa, Abia, and Ebony relaxed lockdown for Easter. Police inspector abducted. Um, can I can I actually request that we begin from relaxing the lockdown? If we say we want this thing 
out of the way. Out of the way. Should it matter that you're relaxing? Why should it be relaxed for Easter? I'm just saying, not as a Christian or as a free thinker, but as a human being now, all of us are faced with this thing. Should we relax it? Is there any need for it? I really, I really don't think there is any need for it because you never know who has it. You don't know. It's not written on anybody's face. Mm. Just one sneeze, cough, around that is going to cause another set of uh, pandemonium around the area. So while we are trying to restrict the fact that people actually get it, whether it's trying to be contained, mm -hmm. it's actually being spread now. It, well, I pray that amongst those, since it has been, it has been lifted, mm -hmm. the lifting is to what level? that people can go to church or people can gather or anything. I'm, I'm sure the lifting will be with some restrictions mm -hmm. as well of what you can do or what you can and cannot mm -hmm. do. I'm sure it would have been done responsibly. Mm -hmm. Because I was just about to say it's important that we also understand uh, what this, uh, how this is going to play out, considering the fact that uh, experts are also telling us about community transmission already. Yes, yes. So if, you, uh, you, on the one hand, you say you want to stop it, on the other hand, uh, you know, we are getting complacent, uh, so to speak. What do we want on to achieve? Rules. Yes, on, on the, the rules. rules. I think it's, the question. It's, it's from the part of trying to balance empathy. Hmm. It's between the no, it's between the the sword and the the, uh, the carrot and the stick, mm -hmm. the carrot and the stick kind of thing. They're trying to show empathy mm -hmm. with the carrot idea yeah. that yes, you're hungry, we'll give you food. Mm -hmm. But the stick idea is for the discipline that yeah. comes with what we have at hand mm -hmm. and what, what we have, we have at with. hand. Yes, what we have to deal with and what we have to deal with is heavier than the fact of giving you the carrot. I can give you the carrot, but please sit down mm -hmm. and eat the carrot. Don't go outside and eat the carrot. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure the governor would have thought of it very responsibly, and there'll be a responsible way that this will be done. All right. What are your thoughts on uh, a thousand Nigerians applying to uh, return from US? So Nigeria is a beautiful place to come back to after all, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I it don't is. know how to take this. <laughs> yeah, it, well, it is. Nigeria is a beautiful place to come back to. We don't have so many people. We don't have so many people affected. Mm. Well, in the case of actually the thousand people, there will be a lot of them there will be a lot of reasons why they want to come back. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I can look at, for example, is this. While you live in the U.S., in these systems where you have, the, it's a, you live in a system, and that system is being fed mm -hmm. through a chain. And the chain is this. You will go to work, you earn money, you pay your bills. These bills are being paid each and every month. Right. And if, God forbid, you have a sick family member, it takes out of what you already have for that month and then you need to deal with that family member. Now, these people, these, are, these people are not saying that, oh, because of coronavirus, you don't need to pay your bills. Mm. They will have to pay their bills because the bills run on a system of continuity. We cannot, you can't halt it. Come for what one, may. Come what may. And some of these people may be faced with that situation that, look, being back at home is easier for us because being back at home, you are here with family and the coronavirus is not as widespread in Nigeria as it is in the US. So it might be financial constraints, it might be family issues, and these might also be people who have been there and don't have some form of documentation to actually live there properly. And so it's really hard hitting them staying in the U.S. Mm -hmm. at this time. And they would rather be back home where they know it is their home and they can have some solace from all that is people are going through. But just by way of asking, are we not uh, risking, isn't that um, risking some more imported cases? I'm not trying to say everyone who's coming in uh, may have coronavirus. I'm just trying to be realistic here. Isn't that... Um, you know, opening the doors for more imported cases. How are we going to manage that? What should we expect, rather, you know, that the government would do if we are saying, yes, they should come because home is home, uh, but what happens to the rest who are, who are already at home? What will, what will be done, so okay. to speak? Like you said, home is home. So the government cannot tell them not to come back home. And basically, I'm sure responsibly, um, um, the main airports for coming from the US mm -hmm. will be Lagos or will be Abuja. The two places that are high on the list of coronavirus in Nigeria right now, and I'm sure Lagos state government will tell them, well, on arrival, you're going to be quarantined mm -hmm. for 14 days. And after the quarantine, if you don't show any signs, then we'll monitor you, but you can go and join your family members, mm -hmm. given that the, everything is okay. 
And the same thing if they are going to arrive at Abuja, because they are going to arrive any of these two places. And this is, these are the things I expect government will manage to say, you are either arriving in Abuja or you're arriving in Lagos. And once you arrive, you're going into quarantine. Whether you're coming with a family or you're coming alone, you're going into quarantine for this number of days. You can maybe extend it even beyond the 14 days because some people don't show um, signs even after the 14 days. Mm. Maybe extend it even beyond the 14 days and say, okay, you're going on this quarantine. Mm. After the quarantine period, they're tested once and they're tested twice. If they're all clear, then I guess they will be able to join their families. All right. In the interest of time, we'll take our last paper and just take mm. one story. And that will be the Guardian newspaper. It's a Buhari and Courts uh, history patterns Ambrose Ali, Enahoro, and others. Presidency and National Assembly face off on uh, overseas uh, gets messier and Lagos Moss we've talked about that it's good Friday but lockdown continues in Lagos Boris Johnson out of intensive care it won't be bad to, to start with good news, good news. <laughs> it won't good be news. bad I'm yeah good. I'm happy to hear that, that he's out of yes, intensive, that is care. Of intensive care mm -hmm. and our distinguished men um, the late Ambrose Ali and mm -hmm. um, Enahuru, that those are the names there um, our distinguished men have been given posthumous pardon mm -hmm. and I'm sure that will be that will be elated for their families mm -hmm. because these were distinguished men in their own time someone like Ambrose Ali for what it was was less than a million naira someone like Enahuru was one of the people that actually went to sign to ask for independence for mm -hmm. Nigeria so that they have been given this pardon, it's a re I hope it's going to restore their honor and mm. their position in Nigeria because there are such distinguished men that need to be celebrated, mm -hmm. in you. my opinion. <laughs> Thank you for bringing uh, that perspective and of always, of course, coming here to be with us and to make sense of the National Dailies. We are grateful. Thank and you. this is where we are going to wrap it here on Off the Press. We'll do this again Monday to Friday, same time, at 8.30 to 9 a.m. here on Plus TV Africa. I am Amaka Okoye saying stay blessed.